Welcome to NextStar TV. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 5 Illustrations. In this video, I'll be covering different functions under illustrations, such as how to insert a picture, clip art functions, shapes, smart art, charts, and screenshots. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to be um, talking about the Insert tab, and we're going to specifically be talking about illustrations. Now the first button under Illustrations you'll notice is the Picture button, which, uh, self-explanatory, allows you to insert pictures and images into your document. So if you click the Pictures button, um, it'll allow you to search for pictures into all the different locations of your computer. And so you can just select an image and um, click the Insert button and it'll insert it into your document. And you'll see that all these picture um, options come up once you've inserted a photo into your document. And we're going to be going into detail about all these different options in a later lesson. The next section that you'll notice is called Clip Art. And if you click the Clip Art button, this Clip Art menu will pop up. And Microsoft Office comes with a large Clip Art library, both online and offline and the clip art is organized into keywords. So if you know that you want to look for, say, you know, an image of a poodle, all you need to do is, you know, type in poodle and you can decide what you want to search for. You know, if you know that you don't want any videos or audio, you can uncheck these areas and they won't be searchable. So then if you just go to go, all these, you know, poodle related clip art images will pop up. And you can also choose to not search for office.com content if you'd like. So now once you've found the clip art image that you want to insert into your document, you can put your cursor where you'd like to insert the image and double click the image and it will be automatically inserted to your document. You can also mouse over the image and notice this down arrow which will pull up the image menu items. So you can either choose to insert it, you can copy it, um, you could edit keywords, or you could preview the pop properties of this um, image. Another really great feature of Word is the Shapes tool. Word has many pre-drawn shapes that you can choose from. So what you'll do is you will go to um, the Shapes drop-down menu. You'll notice all the various shapes that you can choose from. Now you'll select your desired shape, and you'll put your cursor wherever you want to insert this shape into your document. And if you click once, it will insert the shape into your document. Now to resize this, um, you can just drag one of these corners to the shape and size that you want your shape to take. You can make it bigger or smaller, and um, you'll notice if you hold the shift button down, that will keep your dimensions um, of the shape proportional. If you look up here, you'll notice all these various shape tools, a lot of different um, things that you can do with shapes, and we will be getting into more detail with shapes in a later lesson. Something else that you'll want to know with shapes is that you can do something that's called a new drawing canvas with shapes. This will allow you to insert a canvas into your document. So if you go to shapes, at the very bottom, there's this button called new drawing canvas, and if you click it, it will insert a drawing canvas into your document where you can draw shapes or different text or whatever you need to do. So the real benefit of the draw canvas is that it isolates your shapes. So in this canvas area, you can create a background color or you could create a caption for your picture. It really separates out your, your shapes from the rest of your document. Okay, now let's talk about SmartArt. SmartArt are diagrams that can be inserted into Word. So if you come up here and click your SmartArts button, um, you'll notice that there's a wide variety of different um, diagrams that you can choose. You can choose circle diagrams, um, lists. Basically, all you need to do is select which kind of diagram will fit your needs, select the diagram, click OK, and it'll be inserted into your document. Now, there's a lot of other details to go over about SmartArt, but we're going to be covering that in greater detail in a later lesson. Microsoft also lets you create charts in Word. And if you come over to illustrations, uh, there is a chart button, and this will just let you do a graphical representation of um, numeric data. So if you click the chart button, you'll see that you have various chart options. You could use a pie chart, a bar graph, you know, a donut chart, a bubble chart, and basically all that you need to do is select which chart will fit your needs, and if you click OK, it will be inserted into your document. And it'll also be inserted with um, an Excel sheet. 
and you'll have to change this and there's all kinds of options to do with this and this is another situation where we're going to be getting into greater detail with charts in a later lesson. The last thing that we want to talk about in this lesson is your screenshot and you'll notice up here that you have a screenshot button and what the screenshot does is it just takes a snapshot of part or all of your screen. So the screenshot tool will automatically take full screenshots of all the windows that are open on your computer at the moment. So if you click the screenshot button, little snapshots of all the windows that you have open should pop up and you could just select one of these snapshots and they will be popped into your document. The screen clipping button will allow you to actually select just a single portion of your screen and take a snapshot of it at the moment. So if you click the screen clipping button, you'll notice that it makes everything kind of opaque like. So if you just um, select this little snippet, um, that'll be what your screenshot is of. And notice that it'll insert it right into your document. Thank you for joining Nextar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 5 Illustrations. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.